So, we got some new knives from Vosteed, starting it off with the new Vosteed Griffin. Now, just right off the bat, you know, either one you're going to like these colors or not. There is other color options. I'm not the biggest fan of super colorful. I do like a pop of color, but there's also some black ones. Uh, there's a yellow one, and then obviously this one, which is like the Joker edition or something. Um which I think I already sold out, which is crazy. I'll do what I can to link what I can down in the description. But what is really cool about this knife is how damn useful it will be. This thing is like a claw where, you know, if you're going to open something up, score something, even slicing, even cutting straps, literally everything, this thing is going to excel. Now, the question is, how will it work out for sharpening on a one inch stone if you have a fixed angled system? Well, it looks like you will be just fine. There might be a little tiny gap right there for a second, but you'll be able to get past it. If you have half inch stones, you're not gonna have to worry about it whatsoever. Let me do this side really quick. But, so that, that's actually really cool. So you're gonna get all the benefits without the drawbacks. The blade steals 14C28N. We have lots of forms of deployment. You got the flipper tab, the front flipper, and this front flipper, it's like it's so slim up here that it's very easy to do because a knife that's really wide up here seems like it's a lot more difficult to use the front flippers on. So I do appreciate that. You can even slow roll it around. It's very fidgety. Um, then you have the hole deployment, which is also very, very good. Like really, really well. I'd say the least <laughs> acceptable flipping action is the actual flipper, which still works great. But I just mean, you know, like if I had to choose which one was the best and which one was the worst, I would say the flipper, you know, even though it works great. Um, the handle is very slim. You can see the G10 backspacer kind of pops out. We have a deep carry clip inset, but not reversible. The liner lock is easy to access and it is pretty comfortable. The drop, very, very smooth. Uh, but yeah, even though it is slim, you know, it's got a nice long handle and it just, it works so good in the pinch grip, you know, or even just the regular, you know, forward grip. So yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I, I do like it quite a bit. Like I said, I don't know about the G10, you know, everybody's going to have their own flavors and what they like and stuff. Um, I kind of wish, I guess they did do a black one with red the red backing, that one's pretty cool. So like if you're not into the flashy colors, which I like Joker edition knives, I'm not saying I don't. I just, you know, I kind of prefer like my card uh, and stuff like that. The next one is, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> it's a new model from them. And you know, Vosteed is like the king of doing lots of deployments. You got a flipper tab, you got a very comfortable front flipper. They did a really good job on this front flipper too. Look at this front flipper. Look at that jimping. It goes from, you can do it from the top. You can do it from the, the angle or corner of the front, or you can go all the way around to, uh, maybe not, I guess you kind of can, but it works really well though. Um, especially for such a compact little knife, cause this guy is not big. Uh, it, it is pretty small, more of a three finger knife. You can get a four finger if you choke all the way up. Drop point blade. I do like this blade shape and this swedge. I normally like a lower tipped um, drop point because it's easier to get to the tip for utility cuts, but this thing's so compact, it's not gonna be an issue. 14C28M blade steel, great access to the lock bar. Oh, that's very smooth. Oh yeah, wow. I wasn't expecting that to be that smooth. Holy cow. I guess I, guess I haven't uh, really checked the drop yet. Nice detent too. You can hear it when it clicks in. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, the clip deep carry, uh, and reversible. So that's cool. They do a good job with their clips. Thumb stud action is really good too. Um, as far as use goes, you know, it's, it's not the thinnest geometry. It's also not super thick, but I imagine, you know, for somebody who kind of beats on their, their, their knives a little bit, you know, more where they, uh, they want it to be slightly tough, you know, maybe the, like the picket things and stuff. This might be a good option because that tip, I don't think will break on you. I think, you know, it's thick enough to where it's nice and robust. However, it'll still slice pretty well. Yeah. Very cool. Um, I'm digging it. It's a little bit small for me. 
Uh, but I can see why people would love it, and you know, it is really good, especially for those of you that like the compact knives. Now, the next one is the new Thunderbird, but this is the small. Here's the medium, and here is the large. Now, the large one, in my opinion, this one's got, man, both of these have such good detents. Like, the first one I ever tried had a light detent, but these guys, look at that. That's a nice, strong detent. Same thing with this one. Like, look at that. That's a nice, I love it. Absolutely love it. Nice, strong detent. So, because you have good leverage on all the deployments, but you can see the three different sizes. Now, the small one, this one, the detent's good. It's not as strong as these two. I could make it stronger by stretching the spring, but it's still good. Um, I can get a full grip and choke up. Beautiful drop point blade and S35, or no, M390, sorry. Why did I think it was S35? This one's LMAX. This one's S35. So this one's S35, this one's LMAX, and then this one's M390. Now, with the M391, it comes with fat carbon fiber. I think there's a couple different options here for this. So they have the blue fat carbon fiber and green fat carbon fiber with this beautiful drop point blade with a dual grind. Some people might call it a straight clip point. Um, since it's all the way back here, I usually call this a drop because you know the, the tip is just dropping down. I usually call it a clip if it starts from here forward, but you know, you could argue that. Um, some people might even say it's somewhat of a harpoon. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a Tonto either way, a dual ground Tonto, more of a modified Japanese style Tonto. Um, I recently did a video, maybe I'll upload it to YouTube, I'm not sure, but showing how to sharpen a Tonto. It wasn't a Japanese, or it wasn't a Tonto with a rounded nose, it was the one with the straight nose, an Americanized Tonto. But, you know, um, the concept is still the same, the only difference is you want to treat this like a, a belly, like a drop point, where you cover that, that arch. So, ooh, that made that a lot sharper, holy cow. I love when I first get a knife, tuning it up on a little fine diamond or a ceramic or something like that. I tend to get better results with a ultra fine diamond, like a resin bonded one like this. Yeah, buddy. It, um, just seems like it, it really refines the teeth so that uh, you can, man, you can keep an edge going for a long time with those resin bonded diamond stones. Um, and you know, you can take a knife fresh out of the box and really make that edge just screaming sharp. Uh, my most, uh, the one that like really um, stood out to me in my mind right now is that new Rex 45. But all of them do, really. All knives, you know, when you get them, if you can get one of these stones, especially one of these fine stones, right out of the box, just get it and give it like just a couple little easy passes too. These aren't like, this is very easy for anybody to do. You don't have to have like the, the, the full sharpening capabilities or anything. It's almost like you're stropping, but you're just going forward. And my goodness, does it refine that edge. Anyways, there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.